Used to jig off the beat. Still a couple bunks in the bag. We ain't done, baby. Yeah, we getting high right now. Used to have a plug and bag deck with the Afghan cush. Nice price for a pound. And I paid the five for the runs. Joe's up. No sense when we passing around. I'ma put this on point when I pull out the chain. It be looking like you asking around. I'm a cocaine spokes. Drink came fast. That's a huge Saint Boat. I didn't deal way more coke than the crew. What's up, everybody? So we're gonna get the Mamalona. Uh, alignment fix up today because uh like I don't know if I talked to y'all about it like when I when I put on park and I turn you know to left and right it starts quick in the front so I don't know probably that's why but yeah and also when I drive forward I had to drive straight like that and I put straight like this and start going to the right so I probably do need alignment, I don't know. Or probably something else. Hope it's not something else. Because that's a lot of money to fix, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Probably might be the alignment. But I'm just gonna get the alignment for my truck with the Mamalona. And uh and then after that, probably grab some meat and then go home and sleep again. It's cause I just today I got out of work at eleven. Well, I went to work like at one. No, I woke up at one and went to work like about one thirty here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And it's because we're pouring concrete. And uh, it's tough. I just want to sleep at work. So <laughs> only got like two hours of sleep last night. So. Yeah, and then I went to sleep at, got home like at 12, and sleep at one, and woke up at three. And then now I'm here, heading to uh, South Point Chevrolet here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to see if I can get alignment. I think they, that guy told me like $200 for alignment. <whistles> Damn, put this my Malona. Uh, well, I had to, cause anyways, I had to waste money for it. I just, this is the only truck I have to go to work. And yeah, I'm here in Tulsa right now. So, hope I get there, cause I know at five, they have everybody start leaving. And like, oh, we don't have nobody. And they close at seven, so, or well, they close at six, I don't know. But I hope I get there fast. Take probably almost an hour to get alignment. Yeah, but like I want to get alignment because I don't want to be driving so much and just forget about the alignment and stuff. And it's gonna be really bad and stuff. And I have to pay more money to get it fixed so I don't get the alignment. So, uh, we'll see. I'll let you know when we get there. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I guess they're gonna be traffic because it's construction. They're building new roads. Ah, oh, man, that's not good. And it's 408. I uh, will make it. Mira este wey vale por verga. He just went through the cones. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're almost there. We're just like about two, three, like three minutes. Well, okay, I guess the traffic is going a little bit faster now. Man, but this construction is all the way far from the dealership, so hope it, hope it we can still go fast like this. Apache Buffet, oh, Chinese Buffet. Oh, and also I love to go Chinese Buffet. Oh, that's my favorite sometimes, well. I used to go, but I never go. Mira los, mira pinches pelados. Vamos ahí parado como verga. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're hardworking hands. I don't know why, oh yeah, because it's 409 with the. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could cruise around all day like this make more videos I, I want to make a video 
Well, I mean, like, go. I want to get my window tinted. You can see in front. You can see the seat and everything. And from here, it's like, I don't know how many percent. I just bought it like that, this truck. And you can still see through, you know, but I want it more tinted. My, my parents, they have a GMC truck and they, it was all clear. You can see through the seat and everything, just all clear. And they tinted it like from the four windows, from the doors, like in the back. Uh, I forgot what they said, 20% or 25. And the front is like 35%, the windshield. So I was like, ooh, it's really nice. And probably I'll show, show y'all after this when I get the alignment and everything. I'll show you the truck of the GMC. It's really a nice truck. I'm so glad my dad got that truck. He traded for the my mom's Explorer. She was sad. <laughs> but, well, it's a nice truck, you know. And my mom started driving it. Well, I think she started liking it, though. But yeah, after this alignment on my truck, I'll show y'all. Okay, so I'm here in this Chevrolet dealership. And I put in this mechanic stuff and they told me they don't have nobody to do alignment, you know. So, yeah, and then that guy talked to me about it and they say that squeaking noise is not, uh, it's not, nothing that to do with the, with the alignment. He said it might be the suspicion. He, he, he might not know. So he told me when, if, if I can bring it tomorrow in the morning and uh, I told him I'll work tomorrow, you know. So I told him like I will come on Friday after work because we're gonna pour concrete again, you know. It's cause we wake up early, like at like 1.30 or two, and then pour concrete at 3 a.m. and then head home early, you know. And probably I will be on there Friday. And, uh, Oh, but we'll make it till Friday. But yeah, so I thought they usually say they don't have nobody. Like they start cleaning up and everything like at five. Well, he did say at five, so like probably at six and stuff. So it's 419, so oh well. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just gonna go grab something to eat and, oh, excuse me then head home oh well that's good so I get paid Friday and I put I can put money uh, cash my check so it'd be better so I'm just gonna go grab something to eat and then head home Chinese buffet oh well I don't mind All right, uh, I'm in uh, Big Speed, Oklahoma. Bought me some chicken fillet, a chicken fillet. <laughs> uh, there's this guy. He told me he traded me for the chicken and chicken sandwich for my truck <laughs> because he say uh, he loved my truck. Uh, thank you, primo. And uh, uh, shit, do I go? Yeah, and then. Uh, he said he liked my truck and everything, you know. He liked the, the wheels, the tire, and how it's uh, level, clay, le level kit and stuff, you know, lifted. And I told him I just bought it like that, you know. The, all that I did is the stamp, and and I told him I just put that bully on the antenna. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right there. And the step, like you step on when you open the door and stuff. Uh, probably if yeah, I can see about it. There's the step right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh yeah, I put that, but I actually put that by myself. It was hard and it was hot too. And uh, I must get how you say, 
That's because I had to hold it, like push it up by myself and then bolt it myself. That's, that's really pain. So, uh, I'm gonna stop right here so I can eat. Yeah, that's just all them. What do you call it? In the park right here. And eat right here in front of Waterburger. Bet your people's gonna say, wait, you're eating Chick fil A and park right there in the Waterburger? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that's because uh, I try to park in Chick fil A, but it's just you have to go out and can't go back in no more. I don't know. That's fast would be weird. Yeah, here, let me show you my truck. <sighs> She's all dirty and everything, so I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah, there she is, La Mamalona. Uh, she's dirty, you know. This is dirty. This. I don't know where that squeaky noise is coming from. I hope it's not expensive to get it fixed. But yeah, you can see all the portable. I bet you people are going to say, I don't know how to park right. We're a fat tech. Whew. Catching my breath. Y'all know why I'm catching my breath? That's because uh, I help a guy that have a, like a little, how you call it, a Chevy. It's like a little Jeep or something like that. And uh, he was parked in the middle of the road. And I passed by him and I was like, dang, that's dangerous, you know? So I just turned, you did a U-turn, turn, uh, came and turned again and helped him out. And uh, inside his fuel ejection, some shit like that. Couldn't say that shit right, my bad. Uh, it said it's not even working or something like that. So I told him, hey, we can't push it off the car uh, on the roadway, you know? So people won't hit the back of you and stuff. And he was like, yeah. So I help him out and push it. Man, it was only him and me, so it was like two people. Whew. Well, that's another part of exercising. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, then that's it. And then I start going off and heading back home now. And uh, like I say, I recorded my mom's truck that how the tent that I wanted to do on the GMC, the red one. It's really nice. It's better than mine. So we're almost there. Ready to go home and sleep. Here's a tent you can see through. Sucks. You know, this is look, I don't know, kind of the dark. You can see through. See, like I say, you can see in the front. I need to get that tent too. Hey, let's check out my Lance truck, the GMC. See in the back window, it's tinted. Oh, you can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. It's tinted. You don't see nothing in there. The front, you can kind of see. That is my parents' truck in, in the GMC. My truck's all the way over there. Look, you can see the. the the window is not even tinted. Now this one is, it's dark, you know. When it's really dark outside, you can't see nothing inside. Uh, it's, it's, it's a 5 liters, color match, almost. The Z71 is all very, oh shit. Step on shit. Well, we'll stop the video here. Thanks for watching.